meteorologist Ross Whitley. While many of us want to see lower taxes, we also want to see good government and benefits for those who need them. That may be why Florida voters approved 400 million in tax increases and 250 million in new bonds in the election earlier this month. News 13's Brady Calhoun spoke with a government watchdog about these surprising numbers. This year, Florida voters went to the polls in record numbers, and most of them agreed on one thing. They want higher taxes that will pay for certain services. Voters approved $400 million in local tax increases and $250 million in bonds. With rare exception, even during this great pandemic, a lot of the voters uh, and taxpayers voted for uh, tax increases. At any local government meeting, you can find them, residents who think taxes are too high. So what does it say when Florida voters overwhelmingly approve new taxes for themselves? Generally when they do, they have confidence that they're going to get value for their money, they vote for it. If they feel that they've been misled uh, or there's a lack of performance, then they'll vote no. This election comes with lessons for local, state, and national politicians. If the voters think you have their best interests at heart, like most Americans, they will give you the benefit of the doubt. In Panama City, Brady Calhoun, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you want to see which taxes were approved in the Panhandle, check out the story right now on mypanhandle.com. The Callaway Fire Department is adding another fire truck to its fleet.